So we'll revert back to where we started, really, the nervous system. Um, so the parasympathetic nervous system we can sort of see as the, the soma nectar in a way. Um, so I think more specifically it might be melatonin. Um, but Stephen Porges has the polyvagal theory, which is just a theory. It has been disputed as well, but it's a good framework to work from. Um, so you obviously got your sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight, the agony, um, necessary and, and useful. But you've also got the parasympathetic, the rest and digest, which he proposes is split into two. Um, so you have your dorsal vagal branch and your ventral vagal branch. Now the dorsal branch is our freeze response. So we want to be working with the ventral vagal branch. Now it has been found that the stimulation of the vagus nerve, they've just put it as the vagus nerve, uh, enhances the effects of melatonin. So it's not just a case of building up the effects of, of building up the levels of melatonin, but actually enhancing what we already have. Um, so vagus nerve stimulation. So again, yogi's new. Um, humming. Mm. Now you can just hum. Maybe you chant. You know, on. So they were stimulating their ventral vagus branch when they were chanting. Um, so you can hum all day long if you want, or you can just hum when you remember, hum when you're in private, hum when you're in public, uh, is gonna be a great way to help stimulate the vagus nerve. Um, cold showers, I mean, I personally wonder about the cold shower thing, but if you wanna do the cold showers, it has been proven to stimulate the vagus nerve. Um, there's plenty of other ways in the next video, you'll see a video I recorded a little while ago, um, and that's a two minute exercise and a very easy way to uh, improve the ventral vagal tone. Um, so yeah, maybe consider working with that as well.